How's it going, guys? Derek Craig here with oilfieldbasics.com. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about CapEx and OpEx. So what they are, what the difference is between them, and why they're important. So again, I mentioned this in the AFE video that I just recorded before this. This video is done differently because our, I literally went to record this in the studio today and then lost the SD card. And uh, so this is the next option for me. So I wanted to try this platform out anyway, see how it works. So sorry for the difference in video quality and everything, but this is a, a step towards a direction that uh, we might potentially be going in the future with some of our, our videos and able to help get more content on our site. So diving into this topic, I'm going to bring up my screen and bring up the report presentation on CapEx and OpEx. So just one second as I bring it up. So again, we're going to be going over definition and examples and why it's important. So first, let's start off talking about the CapEx itself. So CapEx is, is basically short for capital expenditures. So this is going to be what's required to develop a project um, and, and just for general development of a business. So you need CapEx for business growth, right? If you're an EMP company, and that's my focus is upstream, uh, petroleum engineering background here, but so in the upstream industry, your business is not going to grow unless you are putting forth capital to either you know, acquiring new wells or typically drilling and completing them yourself. So CapEx is required for that, and it makes up a large portion of companies' annual budgets, and that's something that is going to be investors' relations, uh, reports, and everything we'll talk about here in a minute. And examples of this, capital expenditure is going to actually be your drilling cost, your completions cost, your production equipment, your facilities, infrastructure. So everything that's basically required to get you to a point where you can make money off that asset. That's going to be capital expenditures. And there's an example on the right hand side of your screen of an AFE. And again, if you don't know about AFEs, check out the video I just did on AFEs. And we're going to talk about the different divisions of them and why we use AFEs and what all is on them and, and why it's important. But for capital expenditures, it's important to note that this is what's going to be reflected on an AFE. So that's the purpose of an AFE in, in the respect of capital expenditures. Switching course to OPEX. So OPEX is basically going to be short for operating expenditures or operating costs, operating expenses. I'm not sure of the exact particular lingo, um, used pretty interchangeably, but OPEX is basically going to be your operating expenses. So these are going to be what you pay for on a regular basis or, or what you're being charged for after the development has already occurred. So once the well is in production, you know, you're going to have to pay for, you know, your pumper, your, your person would actually go out and, and pump that well, produce it. You're going to have to pay for the trucking of, your, of the oil that you produce off location. You're going to be paying for transportation fees and stuff uh, for your gas that you're putting in a pipeline. So everything that is basically being charged to you as an expense what you're, once you are generating an income, uh, once you're not so much more on the capital expenditure side of the spectrum, but you actually, in our case, like producing a well, right? Everything from then on out is more so operating expenses. Now, you might have some capital expenditures. You might have an AFE required for a workover procedure or something like that. We're actually putting a lot of capital all at once to actually get a well back on track or, or fix an issue. That would be more of a CapEx cost. Um, depending on the company, I guess some might consider an operating uh, cost, but you're going to have AFEs for that kind of stuff as well. But getting back to uh, what's on the screen here, this is going to be just as critical to monitor um, for a company's health as CapEx would be. So it's important to know what your operating expenses are, how much is it costing you. Typically in our industry, in the upstream side, it's done on like a per barrel or per MCF basis. So for every barrel of oil that you produce, what costs did you have in producing it? So it's not taking into account how much it costs to drill the well. That's taking, in, that's taking into account how much it costs you to, again, lift the surface. So like any, any cost that you have on artificial lift systems, electricity on site, um, again, transportation fees, that kind of stuff, uh, that's all going to be factored into that. And that's typically reflected as, you know, cost per barrel or cost per MCF, basically cost per unit of your income, basically, right, per uh, revenue. And a few couple of notes I want to mention here in the end of this is that, again, this is going to be discussed in investor relations. So your CapEx and OpEx costs, this forms your budget, right? This forms your budget for the year, and that's going to be discussed very heavily in 
in investor relation reports and presentations that, that you can find online. You can find presentations with this kind of information on. You can see how much they're trying to, how much they're going to be spending so much a year, how much that's going to be, and, and how that's broken down. And this is something companies will, co will brag about too. If they have a low operating cost, that's something they'll brag about, and you'll see that about you'll see that in their in their uh, investor relations uh, reports as well. And again, just important that both capex and opex needs to be budgeted well, needs to be capitally efficient, and again, needs to be monitored. So, a couple things to keep in mind about capex and opex. Hopefully, you found it to be beneficial. And if you want to learn more about you know drilling completions drilling and fleeting a well and other topics as we add more and more courses on our site check it out oilfieldbasics.com and then be sure to be following us on our social media um, you might be following us on YouTube maybe Instagram Facebook LinkedIn uh, we're all we're on all those platforms so make sure you're following us and always getting notified of new content and also on our Facebook and Instagram we post pictures and different content stuff that you don't see on our site so be sure to check it out and I hope to see you in the next video